Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're going to be talking about how do you actually get started in Salesforce and how do you actually learn Salesforce. There are a lot of voices in space and it's really, really difficult to kind of parse out how to learn Salesforce. I am going to be giving you a bunch of different resources that you can use, but really the first thing that you should be doing is to grasp where you are at um, and what your current knowledge of Salesforce actually is. If you have been a user for a number of years and you understand kind of that end of Salesforce, this is going to be completely different than if you've been a developer for the past 10 years and you're just trying to look to develop on the Salesforce platform. My background, I I was a Salesforce user as well as I have a really big hobby of genealogy. And so I was familiar with how databases work um, because of my background in that hobby. So learning Salesforce with me was fairly easy to grasp after working with so many genealogical databases because I knew how they worked. So grasp where you are, um, and start on answering the questions that you currently have about Salesforce. If you're starting off with what is Salesforce, then I would refer you to David Liu's video on what is Salesforce because I think he does a really good job of breaking it down and making it easy to understand what Salesforce is. I'm coming at it from a standpoint of you know what Salesforce is, but you want to learn more and you want to understand where to start to start getting in the weeds of learning the administration side of Salesforce. So, all right, the first way is going to be Trailhead. And now a lot of people like to just shove you off onto Trailhead. Let me slow down and explain what Trailhead is. This is Salesforce's uh, learning platform that they spend a lot of money to develop and to help you understand Salesforce um, on multiple different levels from user-ish to admin, to developer, to architect, to all those different things. There are a few different ways to work within Shellhead. They give you a developer edition org of Salesforce, so your own edition of Salesforce just to go in and mess around with and play with and learn on. And so what Trailhead is, is you have modules, you have projects, and you have super badges, which will help you learn the different things within Salesforce. Um, modules is a combo of learning, um, so where you are reading and answering questions and testing your knowledge and doing some maybe hands-on stuff within the org. Um, you connect your developer org and it will check the org to make sure that you have completed the task, whatever the task is. This could be creating a field and it'll check to make sure that you have created that field in that org. Um, super badges are really difficult. Um, they give you a set of business requirements and you need to go and fulfill those business requirements in that org. Um, so those are super badges. Projects, which I kind of glanced over, um, are all hands-on things. So they give you what you need to do specifically, the steps to do it, and then it'll go in and check it within your org. Um, Trailhead is great for learning the basics, um, but not necessarily getting certifications. It is really good to learn things like creating fields, creating objects, the security model, that kind of thing. All right, number two, my personal favorite, I really love YouTube to learn. Um, you do have to parse through a lot of things when you are searching and try and search for the right terms. Um, so then you can learn Salesforce. Um, you can learn it through as a user, you can learn it as an admin, you can also learn it as a developer. So just keep that in mind when you are searching for things to learn is that you want to search within those different aspects of Salesforce, um, like searching for Salesforce admin beginner videos or what is Salesforce. That type of thing will help you out a lot. All right, number three is going to be blogs. Personally, I find blogs really helpful for the little nitty gritty things that um, are really hard to come by and the different aspects of the Salesforce platform and not necessarily learning it just to learn Salesforce and glean the basics of Salesforce. So like if I am doing my job and I can't understand why my flow isn't working, I like to go and refer to blogs to help me understand why my flow isn't working. Or if I want to understand like the top certifications to get, I'll refer to a blog or the different aspects of Salesforce that are coming out that are new with each new release. I'll refer to a blog summarizing the different feature releases. So blogs are really great for that kind of purpose. All right, number four is going to be courses. 
Um, I personally really love Udemy. I have three courses currently as filming this um, on Udemy. I find them really sometimes, depending on the instructor, really easy to grasp the information that is being presented to me. And I find that it is really nice and cohesive. So specifically an admin course, if I want to learn administration, um, would be really nice to understand kind of the basics of Salesforce administration or being a user on Salesforce would be really great to learn being a user on Salesforce. And I do have courses on those for me uh, link down in the description these courses are also really great if you are looking to get a certification personally that is my main source or my main I guess tool when I'm looking to get a new certification is to look at the courses and take those video courses because um, that's how I learn best so that's my little blurb on courses um, number five is going to be certification days so Salesforce puts out different courses that you can take uh, to get certifications. Now these courses are really expensive. These can cost like $5,000 or $4,000. It's a lot of money. However, they do have day long webinars that cover at a high level the different things that are going to be covered on different certifications. Uh, this is not going to be every certification. This is going to be some of the, I don't want to say beginner certifications, but not specialty certification. So things like administration, advanced administration, app builder, developer one, these are different things that are going to be covered on certifications. They are free. Um, you can't ask questions on these and they're about five hours long. They're good for getting a grasp on a certification if that's what you're looking for or a grasp on administration if that's what you're looking for. Number six, this is one that I use mostly for um, motivation or maybe I come up with new ideas for creating a project within Salesforce. And this is going to be through podcasts. So I've listened to the Salesforce admin podcast. That one is really good and that helps me to understand how other people are using Salesforce and how I can better use my time as a Salesforce admin and create better solutions for my clients or suggest better projects to those on the internet. That is my tips on the best places to start when learning Salesforce. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like or subscribe if you'd like to join the family here at Salesforce Emily. Um, you can join the email list at salesforceemily.com. Check out those courses down below. But without further ado, thank you so much again. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.